Hi, good morning my loves, welcome back. I'm going to do a vlog and I'm going to do just little snippets of my week again. Just popping on here this morning to say hey, um, that's what we're doing and to show you my heatless waves, okay guys, because I'm absolutely sick of looking at my unstyled hair. But I have got much less time to style it these days than I used to and as you'll know I have always been lazy with styling my hair anyway. Um, and this is what we got. And I think it's okay, you know. It's not perfect, but not too bad. Um, and not only was it heatless, I could do it the night before, etc. It also took about three minutes. So I think I'll be doing that more often, especially now I'm an evening showerer. I think it makes total sense. So that's fun. There's my new life hack, which is particularly pertinent. pertinent to any of you out there who suddenly have less time on their hands, like a new mum for instance. Um, anywho, I'm going to put some really quick makeup on, I've got a zoom in not too long at all, I've just put the baby down for a nap and I've got a zoom um, for something exciting. I don't know whether I can tell you yet, if I can I will, <laughs> if I can't I won't, but I will tell you at some point. I'm just doing a little bit of clearing up, as always I feel like I'm constantly chasing this top floor being relatively organised. We got a lot of stuff up here, but um, I just posted this to my Instagram, so you may have already seen. Um, but my, my Pelican Shakespeare journey continues. I managed to find Pericles and Cymbeline, um, which I'm very, very excited about. You may remember this from my birthday in 2020, I believe. But yes, I'm collecting these editions. I managed to find these two, which I'm super excited about, but the journey continues for Timon of Athens and King John. I think those are the only ones I'm missing. Do they exist? I don't know. Um, I managed to find Henry the Sixth, part two, because um, I think I had part one and part three. <laughs> so I'm very pleased about this one as well. I've come downstairs today because. My mum has made this room um, a little home office, or at least she's put a desk in it. Didn't used to have a desk in it, but she is out today. So I'm nicking her desk. I'm gonna film down here just for a bit of a change because I know that you are sick of looking at my bedroom and the dressing room. Um, I know that I am a little sick of seeing them in the back of the videos myself. So we're in this rather grand setting today is definitely the most grand room of the house <laughs> to do a little far fetch unboxing it's that time again i'm so excited now of course next door is doing some works so if you hear some drilling i apologize honestly that is just london vibes and i can't complain because i am doing it to my future neighbors <laughs> around at my house um but anyway you will know I love Farfetch for lots and lots of reasons. They just have loads of really good um, initiatives that I feel like a lot of other websites aren't doing. Um, not only do they, you know, source stock from boutiques around the world, um, so they have a huge range of clothing. But they've got all the pre-owned stuff. You can go through them to get some of your leather goods fixed and restored, um, which is amazing. We should all be doing that more. And yeah, they just stock loads of really exciting new designers and really champion new designers as well. So there's so much to love about Farfetch. I, I'm going to take you through some bits today. One item I opened already because I was in need of some some of these at the time and I was just like do you know what I have some of these in a package so I'm gonna open it but the other two things I haven't actually opened yet I've just tried to make myself a little bit less overexposed but I don't know if it's worked but anyway you have sort of seen these before because I did unbox basically the same pair from Farfetch not too long ago but in a different colorway but I got another of these gorgeous pairs of Bottega Vanessa sunglasses. I should have brought the other ones down, shouldn't I? But in a really fun colourway. So the other ones are tortoise shell. So very versatile. Can use them every day. Been wearing them absolutely loads. Just think they're so flattering, nice, wearable. And I love them so much. And I saw these and I was like, these are so cool. They are like a yellow perspex with gold lenses so cool look at those 
incredible. Don't know that I have any other yellow sunglasses. Obviously I have goldy ones, um, but I just love these. They're very fun. I just love the frame shape on these as well. They're very, very flattering. Before I continue, I have a 10% off code for you. There are some T's and C's, which I will put down below, but the code is 10YT Sunbeams. It's on screen now, it's down below. Okay, moving on now to the other bits. So first up, we have this pair of still here shorts. I don't know that I am very familiar with still here. Apparently it's a New York brand made in the USA. And yes, these are washed black cutoffs. How nice are these? They've got this kind of detailing on the back, which I think is like a brand thing with still here. Um, the feel of these, you know, when you get jeans out the box and you're like, mm, these are going to be a bit stiff. These feel really nice and like soft already, like they're gonna fall nicely. I am gonna insert little try-ons, so I will insert one now so you can have a look what these look like on. So here are the shorts on and I really, really like them. The shape of them is just really nice and quite flattering for um, a pair of shorts that sort of cuts your leg off like this. Um, Cause I do worry about that when I wear shorts like this. I think these ones, are really really nice so the final item i have to show you is really exciting um it is this gorgeous piece from the elder statesman which i believe is another um new york brand brand from new york i have wanted a elder statesman piece for quite some time um and i got this gorgeous rainbow jumper now i was a little bit worried it was looking quite slim line on the website but actually it's quite nice and floppy it's got a really nice feel to it weight to it and it feels like it's going to be a really beautiful cut this is like my univ jumpers like taking to the next level <laughs> um i am so excited to try this on and i can imagine that it will become a staple in my wardrobe. I got a Kate jumper a couple of years ago and it was so expensive. And I remember thinking, why am I spending this much on a jumper? And I have worn it countless times since. You all know that jumpers are one of my sort of favorite things. I wear them all the time in winter. And a good jumper, like a good statement jumper, or just one that's cut really nicely and wears really nicely can just be worn time and time again. So I'm hoping that this will be a similar experience for me because yes, I get so much wear and love out of my jumpers. And as much as I love all my jackets and coats and stuff and they do make an outfit and I love them and I wear them all the time, I actually think with the jumper, you know, that's what you're wearing inside and outside. Everyone's gonna see it. Um, it's worth having, having good ones. And although it is still summer, the weather's been so shitty, I have been thinking of my autumn wardrobe. I also think this will be nice for the kind of transitional period as well because it is bright and fun as well. So, so excited about those two pieces. And this is the jumper. I am obsessed with this. As I suspected, this is definitely going to be one of those things that I just wear over and over and over again for years and years to come. It's so nice, it's so soft, falls so nicely, the arms are nice and long, which is always quite a sort of flattering vibe. And I love the colours of it, the quality is so nice. I think I got this in a small, if I'm wrong I'll write it down below, and it's kind of a little fitted on the shoulders, so yes. So that's it my loves, that is my little Farfetch unboxing, gonna wear those um, later on in the week I think. Like I said before, I am trying to wear clothes again, proper clothes, experiment a little bit, wear proper outfits, wear things I feel really good in, um, gonna try and do that you know in the week and um, I started last night by choosing my outfit before I went to bed which is sometimes the absolute last thing that I want to do because you know I'm tired by the end of the day I just so want to get to bed I want to get to sleep um but made a big difference this morning that I didn't have to think about it I could just chuck on what I had decided on and get on with my day because obviously in the days I have a lot less free time than I do right before bed so that's another of my <laughs> 
time-saving tactics to try and look a little bit more put together in day-to-day -day life. I also was debating this morning, like, do I put mascara on or not put mas mascara on? You know, sometimes when you've done the rest of your makeup, mascara is one of the last things I put on usually. And I'm like, hmm, do I need mascara today? Sometimes I like the no, no mascara look. And what I actually did was I did a tiny, tiny wash of the Bare Minerals, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it's called right now, Strength and Length Lash. Um, I just put a little, a little bit on and I actually really like it because it's somewhere between the two things. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. When I put mascara on, I'm always like going to town but I actually like this very gentle, a very natural mascara look. And yes, I'm gonna get rid of these boxes, sort some bits out. My Zoom went well, very excited for that, but yes, I cannot mention it yet. I will mention it in due course. I think I'm gonna take you upstairs, show you my outfit quickly, gather all my bits that I need for the day and then it's gonna be me and baby hanging out. I think I've gotta do some washing. I mean, it's all very glamorous here. So, I'm gonna show you my outfit. We're gonna do a little bit of a day to night situation today because we headed out to dinner tonight. We're gonna to go to Sumi, which is, I think, a Japanese restaurant. I have been to their sister restaurant, Endo, before, which is incredible, so, so good. If you can go to Endo, I think it's often very booked up. I would highly recommend it. It's a real experience in there. I think they do do only like 18 covers a night or something. And it's at the top of the BBC, the old BBC television centre. So you get really, well, <laughs> the view isn't amazing. I think it's of Westfield, but um, it's kind of, it's a really cool space. Anyway, this is their new sister restaurant. I think it's in Notting Hill. I think it's less, slightly less fancy. Um, I'm very excited. We're going to celebrate Indy who got her results today and she did amazingly well. Of course, none of us are surprised, <laughs> but she did really, really well. So we're gonna go celebrate that. So this is today's outfit. I am wearing these incredible Prada loafers. Um, excuse my legs, they look really dinged up and bruised. Um, but wearing these incredible Prada loafers, Zach got these for my birthday, I'm obsessed with them, I haven't worn them much yet, um, that's why they look so shiny still, um, these are the ones without the chunky soles, I do like the ones with the chunky soles as well, but um, I actually think I prefer these just for me, just because I think they're a really nice sort of timeless piece, um, and then I'm wearing this Reformation skirt, which I must have bought in the sale like two years ago and never ended up wearing for whatever reason. So I'm bringing it out today for this slightly rainy, gloomy August day because I think I will not get anywhere out of it when we actually turn into autumn weather. So it's just this like stretchy skirt and it's got a little kind of ribbed pattern on it that you can see. And then continuing with the ribbed theme, I'm wearing this Unif tee that says Bliss on it again. I've worn this so much um, over my over the last year. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a nice shape on my new shape. Um, it's just really worked for me through pregnancy and postpartum compared to a lot of my other clothes. So I have been wearing this to death and I'm wearing it again. <laughs> um, so that is my outfit. And then I'm wearing these amazing... Desi sunglasses, which my mum got me for my birthday. These are the Naughties. Um, and this whole outfit's actually based around these sunglasses. I find that if you're struggling to put outfits together, then one of the best ways to do it is just to pick a piece that you really want to wear and just make, do everything else around that. And sometimes it ends up that that piece never ends up making it into the outfit, but it's just a nice place to start from. So for me, I knew I wanted to wear these. I knew therefore the outfit was probably gonna be all black. They're quite glam, they look quite glam. Um, so I wanted to have um, more glam piece. So having like a tight skirt, um, I thought I would bring that in. But then we've got to add sort of elements of me in. So we've got an oversized tee. And I'll show you what it looks like with the jacket. So yes, this is my daytime version. And I've just chucked on this um, jacket, this denim jacket, washed black denim. You see me in this countless times as well. It's a very me vibe as well. I can't remember 
where this is from. I've ha I'm having a mind blank on the brand, but I'll write it down below, but I don't think they make this jacket anymore anyway. But anyway, that is my outfit for today. Hooray, I'm in clothes. Um, I'm gonna go now <laughs> and um, see what the little one is up to. What are these little leggies doing? It's the coldest hand the run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But the hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea She is ready for her next nap. I've done all my little bits that I needed to do. She's just been chilling, playing, but it's time to take her upstairs for a nap. So baby's time for a nap. Um, after her morning nap, it is very chill. Her morning nap's pretty changeable, but it's very changeable how long this one's going to be. But I'm hoping I can at least get some lunch in. So I'm going to make some lunch. So I was going to have some pasta or something, or Zach's got some like salad -y things in the fridge, but do you know what, because we're vlogging and for a bit of nostalgia and also because I keep watching Lily Pebbles' um, stories and she's currently pregnant and she is like loving these to make ramens. And you know what, I'm going to have one, just because, you know, for old time's sake, I actually haven't eaten one, and I know it's hard to believe, I actually haven't eaten one of these for months and months and months. They were a bit too strong for me whilst I was pregnant, um, and just, I, for some reason I couldn't stomach them, and I haven't had one since, I don't think. So you're going to have to watch me make something you've watched me make millions of times instead of something new, but that's just where we're at. I do think I'm going to put um, an egg in. I'm trying to think if I can put anything else in, just for a bit of extra nutrition, you know. Okay guys, it needs some green or something, right? <laughs> but we're just going with the eggs for now. Okay guys, it is a little later in the day. Just literally been doing boring chores all day, putting stuff away, getting things neat. Putting the baby down for naps, getting her up from naps, <laughs> feeding her, nothing exciting to report but I'm gonna head out to see me now. Thought I'd just show you um, how I've switched my outfit up. I am wearing one of Zach's big All Saints shirts. Just decided to nick it off him for the evening. And then I'm wearing this big MM6 coat. It's kind of big but it's quite thin so it's sort of weather appropriate. I feel weird not going out without a jacket of some kind in the evening so this is what we went for. I think I might be one of the unlucky people whose shoulders expanded during pregnancy because I just tried on a few of my jackets and they're not fitting right and I don't think it's a weight thing because it's yeah it's all up around here they just don't fit right but maybe they will again. I'm really sad if that's the case because you know I built up a jacket collection that I love and I don't want to have to get rid of any of them if they don't fit properly but we'll see. I'll give it a little while longer but I'm a little nervous that some of my jackets don't fit quite right anymore. <laughs> anyway my loves, I am going to head out basically. I think I'm ready to go. I'm excited for some yummy food. So funny story guys, Sumi was closed something to do with Covid I think, not entirely sure, um, apparently we confirmed the booking yesterday but we didn't realise until we arrived at the restaurant. <laughs> um, I did not make the booking so I'm not taking blame for this one. Uh, so we ended up going to Ascenza, somewhere that my stepdad's been many times I think, an Italian in Notting Hill. It's got a kind of old school vibe, it's clearly an old school restaurant, it's been there for ages, I think and 
you know, there were people in there, it had a kind of chilled vibe, but can I say that the food was very good? The food was not amazing. But anyway, um, I had um, a caprese, although it was an unusual caprese because it had like avocado and stuff in it. Lobster ravioli and then a tiramisu. So <laughs> that was my slight fail of an evening. I will probably see you again tomorrow. Nothing super exciting planned, but just more daily life <laughs> coming your way. Hi. Good morning, my loves. It is the next day. I am up, ready, obviously, as you can see. Um, what are we thinking about my second day? Heatless waves. I keep thinking it's the baby crying, but. It's someone's doing some like high pitched drilling nearby. They keep scaring me. She is currently napping, but I think they look okay. I woke up this morning, I was like, oh god, they do not look good because they were very frizzy and all over the shop. But actually, now that they've just settled in for the day, they look okay. Um, gonna just pop about the house this morning, maybe take a few pictures, and then when baby's up. We're gonna go for a little walk, I think. She didn't get out of the house yesterday. We didn't get out of the house yesterday. And she really likes getting out and about. It helps just chill her out. And so do I. So that's our plan. We're gonna go for a little walk when she's up. But until then, I'm just, yeah, hanging about the house, doing some bits and bobs. I will show you my outfit, actually. So this is today's outfit. I've got these wave jeans on from Ragged Priest, which I love. I bought these recently. Got them in a couple colors. I also got the blue ones. Um, but yeah, these are the brown ones and I'm in love. Got on this Cos tee, which is in a haul a little while ago. This old vintage brown shirt, which I've had for a little while. And my Converse. And that is today's look. Hi my love, so I have done most of the things that I wanted to achieve in nap one today so this is my new thing i have no idea if it's gonna work we've only just started it really but like i said in my last video i'm just sort of slowly feeling like i'm coming back to myself in stages and getting dressed every weekday is one of the main things um even pre-pandemic Okay guys, I was big on my loungewear in the day. But now, after everything that's happened, feeling like I've lost my style a little bit or lost my ability to dress myself, this is my new thing. I wanna get dressed in the day up until, you know, mid-afternoon, I can change back into my loungewear then. But just to start experimenting with outfits again, fashion again, try and reignite that part of me so that's one of my things I'm trying to put together that outfit that i'm going to wear the following day the night before which <laughs> i don't know whether i'm going to keep that up because by the time we get to the end of the day i am tired i do think if i can keep it up it is good because it just saves an extra bit of time in the morning so yes my other new thing is i'm going to try i'm obviously bullet journaling i'm using asana as well asana i'm using mostly for work stuff and um, I've got Zach roped into it now as well, so any major house stuff is also going in there. Less so chores and stuff, That's I'm keeping that to more to the bullet journal. The bullet journal is good for very general things as well. I touched on that in a previous video. So like if I'm gonna say I'm gonna film a video on Thursday, for instance, I'll pop that in the bullet journal as film that video. That's what I'm gonna do that day, it's on my to-do list. But Asana allows me to create little subtasks, really break it down, make sure that video also gets edited and uploaded. So that's good for that. But anyway, on top of all of that, um, I'm then kind of consulting my bullet journal and Asana as well, and just sort of making like a schedule very, very loose because you never know with the baby, you know, if she has a bad day, she doesn't have um, a third nap or whatever, then, then obviously she is number one priority. But just because I would feel very lost in the day, like when she did go down for a nap, like I was like, I've got 10,000 things to do and I've no idea what I wanna do when. So I'm giving myself like a loose schedule of what I want, what I might want to do in her morning nap, what I might want to do in her lunchtime nap, what I might want to do in her afternoon nap, um, what I want to do when she's down um, at the end of the day, just to try and slot in some of these 
shorter tasks, obviously for the big things, um, for days when I need a few hours to get work done, then I sort of need to rely on her being with someone else, being with Zach. Um, we are going to look into childcare soon. That is what I am finding is that if I could have like a couple of days a week or even a couple of afternoons a week, um, that would be wonderful. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, writing just a little loose schedule for the day to have an idea of what I want to do and you know, the morning nap's the slightly longer one usually, so longer tasks in the morning and then what kind of little bitty things can I fit in in the afternoon? And also what kind of things can I fit in when she's awake? She is um, a pretty dreamy baby um, in that she likes playing alone. In fact, sometimes uh, Zachariah will try and get involved and she's like, please leave me alone guys. I want to play by myself. <laughs> so, you know, um, doing stuff while she's awake is also an option, but I also want to be, you know, with her spending time with her when she's awake. You know, it's about finding the balance. But that is my current new thing. So yeah, I'm feeling a little more alive again, and I'm feeling like I can start just getting a bit more of a routine going, getting a bit more organized, getting on top of things, um, because yes, the house is ramping up. I think it won't be in this vlog, but maybe in a, the next vlog. I will do a little house update because they are doing the rip out still, um, which I know seems like it's taking ages just to rip everything out, but I'll tell you why, it's because they're taking out literally everything, like a lot of the walls are coming down, the ceilings are coming down, it looks pretty incredible over there. Um, and the reason they're doing that is because, you know, we are putting the loft on, we're putting the extension on and they'll need to be steels and stuff like that. We need a full rewire. I think our contractor said we've got the original electrical fittings in there and um, all the plumbing is sort of being rejigged a little bit as well and needs redoing. Um, so the best thing to do is actually just take the walls down and then you can hide everything in the walls. Whereas if you're doing a renovation and we're not doing that, you end up having to like box stuff off and like basically lose a bit of your living space. So that is the good thing. The bad thing obviously is that you have to take all the walls down and <laughs> pull the walls back up, which is a big task, but I think it will be worth it. It's one of the good things about doing a renovation on a property which really hasn't been touched in a long time because you just do it all, do you know what I mean? And hopefully that means that it will survive another 150 years um, of living um, and it needs to be done really so that is that it looks crazy over there I'll show you that but yeah because stuff is ramping up over there as well Zach and I really need to be just on top of things and making sure everything's ticking over and um, yeah also the last few months we've been very much concentrating on you know, seeing people and making sure everyone sees the baby because basically nobody saw me whilst I was pregnant. It has been a busy old time, obviously in a safer way as possible. Um, but yes, it's been it's been busy and all over the shop, but I think now we really want to get our heads down and get things sorted. Also, I realised that I didn't mention that I've got blue eyeliner on today. I mean, obviously you can see it on my eyes, but I'm kind of enjoying it actually. It's a little bit fun. Um, and I'm wearing about three different lip colours, but I will write them down below for you. Um, I think Zach's going to get a coffee. I am gonna... I asked for your suggestions, um, poets to read, um, on Instagram, and I had so many wonderful answers. Um, so I'm gonna write a list of them and post it to my Instagram. I don't know where I'll put that for you who missed it. But I think I will put it in highlights on my Instagram at some point as well because I wanted to just share more poetry. I've been enjoying, when I see poems come up on my social media, I really enjoy reading them. And I just want to read a bit, little bit more, maybe share some more of it with you. And I think it would be a really nice thing to do. So I'm going to write that list of poet, poets now 
I should probably just buy some anthologies though, right? That probably makes sense. I'm gonna do that now and wait for my coffee. Okay, baby's up. I did not finished my list of poets, but I will do that later. So we've decided we're gonna walk and go and eat a ramen for lunch. So it's really ramen heavy, this vlog. <laughs> um, but it's lunchtime and I was gonna do a walk anyway. So we're gonna combine the two things while she's up and get out of the house. Thank you very much. Okay, we're off, we're going, we're leaving. She is reaching an age now where I don't really want her to be in sleep suits all day, every day, maybe some days, but she needs some bits and we have been so lazy buying her clothes. <laughs> We've basically bought the bare minimum. We, yeah, we needed some bits. She especially needed things like leggings, stuff like that. And then when she wears that, she can also, we can also switch it up, up, like take them off, for instance, if it's too hot. She's just got layers now, rather than just a lot of sleep suits and rompers. Anyway, now we are back off home. She's pretty tired, so I'm gonna get her home and hopefully down for a nap. So I can get a few bits done, but she may, she might fall asleep and I'm on the way home. Who knows? So we are back home. Baby did fall asleep in her pram, so didn't quite make it to the snoo. I've just changed, it was actually such a hot walk home, I was wearing a much too warm outfit. I do check the weather every day before I plan the outfit, but it didn't say it would be this warm, which is just classic, classic. Um, I put my hair up, I'm gonna wash it later anyway, so. Um, yes, because I keep getting to mention actually, I'm having a massage today, I haven't had one since, I think I have to go and feed this baby, since I last vlogged the massage experience. 12 weeks then, and I think she's like 20 weeks now, <laughs> there or thereabouts. I'm not keeping up with the weeks anymore. I'm, I'm on to the months. So yeah, it's been a couple of months. Um, and just in the last week or so, my back's been feeling awful. So I thought I'd book one in. The last one was gifted with Urban, but this one I booked myself with Urban again. And yeah, I'm gonna have a little, little massage, little treat. I've also booked myself in for a chiropractor's appointment later this week. I should probably have done them the other way around. Right, I got interrupted earlier because I needed to feed the baby, but we're just listening to a little bit of Kate Bush. She's having some play mat time. I'm doing some bits on my laptop, but yes, because I'm having a massage, I just took off all my necklaces, my more chunky jewellery um, and I'm very very excited. But yeah like I said my back's been hurting quite badly for the last week, don't entirely know what's going on but it definitely like interferes with my life, like I find I can't sit certain places or I need to sit in a comfortable chair after a little while and it's bad so I need to really do, so I'm going to see what the chiropractor says, what they're like there, oh you might see a cat in the background there, can you see some ears? Um, he's visiting. <laughs> he usually lives out of the farm these days, but he is currently here. Um, oh, we might have a roll on our hands here. Anyway, see what the chiropractor says. Maybe get massages every now and then. And I need to do some more back strengthening, obviously, at the gym. Um, I am going to my first personal training session in a while tomorrow. Um, for whatever reason, both my trainer has been away or I've been away, so we have not combined for a few weeks, but I'm going for the first time in a while tomorrow. And yeah, obviously he knows I am four months postpartum, so he is doing exercises to help me strengthen my core and my back again. So hopefully that comprehensive plan will... Are you looking at me? I'm like, what are you doing, mom? 
um, will help us get some sort of back comfort back. Okay, did not film any of my massage setup or anything. To be fair, I was very naked today, but just had my massage, ignore my makeup, obviously it's now all over the shop. Um, I'm gonna take it off in a minute, but it was so good. I think that's like the best massage I've ever had. Um, even better than last time, it was, I had a different practitioner this time and she was amazing. She just like homed in on the knots. I didn't tell her anything before our session started, apart from that I'd had a baby recently and therefore my back was in bits. Um, but I didn't specify what areas or anything, she just found them all. She found all the knots, she was incredible. Um, she also did my legs and I didn't realise how much tension I was carrying in like my, particularly my calves. I was like, oh my god, why are they so tight and tense? I don't know if it's because I, well, I feed a lot in bed um, and I'm like holding my legs up to keep Inez in the correct position. I don't know. I thought I'd show you the clothes that we got from John Lewis. I'm hoping that this stuff will last her for the next couple of months so got her some, they were all on hangers and they've been released from their hangers so I don't know if everything's gonna suddenly become a mess. Got her some leggings, like I said we needed her to have some little trousers because it's just good for layering and like I said we're reaching that stage where I don't think I want her in sleep suits all day every day. Also she really likes playing with her feet so I wanted stuff with feet out. A lot of sleep suits are obviously feet in to keep them cosy and warm so and at least we can have the option then we can always put socks on her as well if it's cold. So got her some leggings, got this very cute little dungaree set with some sloths on it and a nice little striped t-shirt underneath which can be worn with lots of things. It's a bit tricky with in the UK because you have to buy stuff for all weathers for all ages because I swear we've had cold days we've had warm days also got her this dungaree set um, I'm hoping this will fit her for a little while she's quite long and big um, so <laughs> she's definitely in the sort of six plus category now really um, and again a nice little versatile long sleeve top for underneath but also the dungarees are cute and then Got her some joggers in this nice orange, nice blue colour. Oh, these are some socks that go with these dungarees. They were, they came in the set. And then this very cute little jumper that says happy times and it's got another sloth on it. Things that are definitely good for now because it's a bit warmer today are a couple of little pairs of shorts. And then we've got a couple of t-shirts, green stripe little blue one with rhino on it. She's got a few things with rhinos on it, but she's definitely got lots of things with a fox on it. So a little jumper, hopefully that'll be nice for a little while as well. Um, and then, Zach like this one, it's a rhino in a car. <laughs> um, and the little car door opens and there's a ladybird inside. Very cute. Those are our bits. They all feel really comfy and soft, which is what I want for her. I always want her to be comfy. I don't like the idea that she would ever not be comfortable. Those are her bits. I'm going to pop them away in her wardrobe whilst I wait for her to finish her bath with Zach. Um, and then I'm going to put her down to sleep and then I'm going to shower and sort myself out. Hi, I hope you're not too steamed up. Let me open the door. So I'm going to just show you how to make this waves. It takes literally less than five minutes. Um, I reminded myself of this technique by watching um, Tara's this waves tutorial, an old one. I don't know if she's updated her technique or not, but I just looked hers up because she is the queen of heatless waves. I'll link her up down below. And when she did it, I was like, oh, hang on a second. I remember using that myself once upon a time. And clearly it's just completely left my brain. It's crazy how that can happen. <laughs> Something can be so part of your daily life and then you can just forget about it for years. Um, I think I'm reaching the end of my postpartum hair loss. Anyway, I'll link up Tara's video down below. You can watch it both today if you want, but basically I'm just going to take the front of my hair and start twisting. 
I'm going to do two big twists and then I'm going to secure around the back. She did hers in the video that I watched with just one hairband, which I think is quite amazing. But I secured both sides and then tied them together with another one. But I actually need thinner hairbands, I think. Because three big ones is quite chunky looking. So I'm just going to twist, 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 twist. And if you do it sort of enough, if you just hold for a second before... Um, yeah, so I think my postpartum hair loss is finally slowing down. I was taking some supplements from um, JS Vitamins, which were specifically sort of designed for hair and stuff. But I always end up with, I kind of end up with another section, which I did separately in the end last time because it just seems to work a little better. But I kind of fell off doing that, as I want to do when it comes to vitamins and stuff. So I'm going to twist them again, and then I'm going to twist this back section. And I also just took my breastfeeding vitamins, which I've also been neglecting, which is bad, but I have a lot of like... Oh, bad vibes, bad memories from taking my Pregnacare um, during the first trimester and that's not a bad thing, you know, like you're supposed to take it and it's obviously really good for you and the baby but I just remind myself which way I twisted all these so I'm going to really sort of twist them so they're definitely twisted the right way and I'm just going to secure them really bad maybe I'll use this actually and it's kind of a mess, but it kind of works. So that is an it. Very simple. But yeah, like I said, Tara just did it all with one hairband. But I'm not that skilled. But yes, I can't imagine that that's helping with my like joints and just general well-being. So I really need to start taking them again. Um, but yeah, I have really bad memories of them in the first trimester. They made me feel so sick and I was feeling sick all the time. And they're really big pills. I just remember being like, oh, I cannot swallow these, but I got them down me. <laughs> Very important. Prenatals are important for you and your baby, but oh, did not go down well. So I kind of have that in my brain when I take my breastfeeding ones. But yeah, I can feel that baby sucking all my nutrients, sucking all my vitamins out of me. So if I need to start taking them again for my body. Because then, yeah, like I said, I can't imagine that's doing me any good when it comes to my joints and my bones. Anyway, yes, my postpartum hair loss was kind of bad for the last month or so and honestly I've got quite a lot of strands of hair it doesn't look super thick in a lot of cases sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but I have quite a lot of strands of hair luckily and that's lucky because it doesn't look super thin I mean I've got a, a lot you know you can really notice it on my left side for some reason um, and on my right actually looking at it. Um, so you can see it here, I think that's really common, you can see it on lots of women there. But it, honestly, it's not even the thinning hair for me, it's the strands of hair everywhere. It's so annoying, you know, the baby's got 15 strands of hair in her hand, just waving them around, they're all over my clothes, all over everything. It was so annoying. I need to get back on my hair vitamins as well, or supplements rather, it was more of a supplement because honestly it was so... It was so annoying. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's slowing down, and I think um, hopefully we're gonna have some regrowth. It's probably gonna look a little bit strange around the front. I'm expecting that to look a bit weird. Sorry, I've just realised that my white noise is on super loud. Just been listening to The Martian, and by white noise I mean I'm listening to the baby on the monitor. But just been listening to The Martian. Finally got into it. Took me a while to get into it actually, um, but I am finally into it. And now I'm not really interested in the book I'm reading on my Kindle, so I clearly can't do it all at once. But I'm enjoying The Martian, enjoying listening to it, and I will talk about it obviously more in a book video in the future. I really need to do my book video, I think that's the plan for early next week. It is coming, it is coming. Anyway, I'm going to go eat some dinner, and I think that's going to be basically the end of my night. I'm going to make a little schedule for tomorrow, um, and I will see you again tomorrow, I think. Bye, my loves.
So it's the next morning and I'm just about to take these out. They actually survived a little better than my first lot, which makes me think they're going to be a bit twistier. And so it's possibly going to look a little crazy initially, but it should drop out. I'm not sure the right side is looking nice, in which case I might go in with just my waving wand just to like touch this bit up but also I'm going to gin spot because I'm not going to do that right now but if it looks weird later on um, then I might do it could just be the lighting <laughs> it's a little hard to tell but yeah but this side looks nice right so that's it just got a little comb kind of comb them out a little bit so there we go guys I am going to get in my gym stuff ready for later on even though it's a few hours until my session and I'm going to do just some little bits on the laptop and stuff this morning and I'll probably see you in a bit. So my loves, I'm back from the gym, it's a little later in the day, I did not film myself at the gym because I am still getting into the swing of things there and filming is an added dimension so um, yes, I didn't film my workout today but it was tough and now I'm definitely not going to be able to hold the camera for very long so it's a good job <laughs> this is my last day vlogging this week but I'm going to show you my outfit you will have seen it basically earlier in this vlog but I am wearing my new far fetch bits I swear I step into this room and every outfit just looks horrible <laughs> I don't know what it is about the lighting and stuff in here it's just not it's just not right does it look a little bit better with the overhead lights off maybe I don't know. I am loving these two pieces together and I'm just wearing them with Converse. You could do loads of fun contrasty things with this jumper and I'm sure I will in the future but for its first outing I wanted to keep it fairly simple so this is what we're going with. I have got my um, Stella McCartney Falabella bag which I just like with the Converse. It kind of just works. That is my look. So Zach and I are going to head out now, do a little walk, take the baby out maybe get coffee something like that and yes just have an hour out or so snap a few pics i'm wearing the most gorgeous lip color this is patrick tars she's not from here i think it's a lip liner how beautiful is that i love it it's a pulse and shove it's a sharpest cry hi my love so back in our old favorite location my desk to say goodbye and sign off from this vlog thank you so much for watching don't know what's in here it's gonna be a great big mix of things i hope you've enjoyed this style of vlog i'm sort of leaning into um filming over a few days now that i've worked out that that works better so i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did and i'm just gonna say something else next vlog hoping to do a little house update. Hasn't this lip, lip liner faded quite nicely, quite evenly? I mean, it's not perfect, especially if you were to see me up close, but I think it's pretty good. You can see in the background, I finally bought a night light. Sometimes use the one on the Nanit, but it's quite a cold light, that, um, which is our baby monitor, by the way, if you're not familiar. <laughs> and then in the very early days, I was using our bedside table lamp, but it's quite bright that one even on the dimmest setting so I definitely would recommend like a night light um, if you are about to become a parent <laughs> um, for night feeds just just like a fit for purpose night light um, because they they're gonna be the right shade like as in tone they're gonna be the right dimness I think um, most of them are adjustable um, and you want to keep night feeds as like dark, dim and calming and night timey as possible but sometimes you just need a little bit of light yourself for changing or um, if you are new to breastfeeding like latching why do I feel like I need one at the minute? oh, I wanted one because um, I sort of want to completely close the curtains and stuff before she comes in the room and gets in her PJs and I want to like start reading a book with her and stuff but I need a little bit of light but I just the lamps and stuff we have in the room just don't quite fit the bill they're a little bit too bright so 
that's my big long ramble. I bought this Tommy to be night light, which you can see in the background there. It's a little penguin. Very cute. And then when she's older, she can like take this little egg and if she like needs to go to the loo or something, she can light the way with her egg, which I thought was cute. <sighs> that is a long way off though. I'm trying to guess whether there's something else I want to talk to you about that. If I can't remember it, I will write it down and try and remember to talk to you about it in the next vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget about my Farfetch co code. I'll leave it down below for you. Oh, and also book videos coming, I promise. Um, and also I think I might do a little Q&A as well. So all of that is coming. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again very soon. Bye.